What's up everybody? This is Jackhammer2711 coming at you today with yet another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Huntara action figure from Mattel. Um, <clears throat> Huntara was the uh, March Club Eternia figure um, for you know the the Club Eternia 2015 subscription um, there was no day of sale for this figure um, so basically this figure ends up being another uh, club exclusive figure now if I'm not mistaken I think most of the figures that have no day of sale they can still show up later on uh, maybe in like um, early access or, or some uh, Cyber Monday, Black Friday sales. If there's some customer service stock left over, um, it's it's not the the club exclusive. Um, we've never seen those, um, you know, that were uh, that are club exclusive show up in, in later sales for for a day of sale, uh, customer service stock and stuff like that. So possibly still a chance to get this figure later on down the line, uh, but for right now, only by subbing to Club Eternia were you able to get this figure. Um, Huntera is a filmation character. Um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's from the Princess of Power cartoon. Um, when it comes to filmation and Masters of the Universe, um, I have a, a, a fairly decent knowledge of it, but I, I don't have encyclopedic knowledge like a lot of people do. Um, the cartoon was very appealing to me as a kid whenever I was growing up in the 80s, but, um, it, it, it's cool now, but it's not one of those things that I can just sit there and watch. And, and just, you know, really get too engrossed in because it's pretty simple. Um, but I believe Huntara was a Princess of Power character, if I'm not mistaken. And she is also the winner of the Fan's Choice Award. Um, this was a fan-voted figure that won out of a vote of several other characters, of which I'm not sure who they were, um, you know, right now off the top of my head. But she was the winning figure. Um, taking a look at her here in the packaging, um, of course she does come packaged in the brown mailer box, um, and she comes here in this uh, packaging. Of course you've got your Masters Universe Classics logo here at the top, as you can see right there. Um, you know, you got a nice, um, you know, clear view of the figure there in the packaging. A really nice looking figure. Um, as you go down here to the bottom, of course you've got her name, Huntara, and she is a courageous, uh, I'm going to say, Salaxian warrior. Um, and of course it does show it's an adult collector. The bottom of the packaging has that legal stuff that Mattel has on their packaging. Um, taking a look at the back, you have your Masters logo here at the top and then some other characters who are available in the line. You have Bo, Glimmer, She-Ra, Huntara herself, Frosta, and Mermist there at the top. And uh, there you go, there's a nice image of uh, Huntara's bio. If you want to take a look at that and want to read it, you can pause it and read it for yourself. Um, and of course, right there, you do have, you know, that image of her from the Filmation cartoon. And then here at the bottom, you have the MattyCollector.com, where collectors are king plug, and of course, encourages you to collect them all. Um, but anyway, there's Huntara in the packaging. Uh, let's go ahead and bust her out of her plastic prison and see just exactly what Huntara is working with. Alright, everybody, we're back here and we have Huntara out of the packaging um <clears throat> this is a this is a really really nice action figure um as i think i've said in the past and kind of how i mentioned in, in this video um there are some filmation characters that that i, I have a, a pretty good connection to that i'm familiar with um and then there are others that whenever they're announced it's just like uh okay cool it's cool to have filmation characters but uh, you know i don't really have I'm, I'm just not really wow i'm really excited about this um and this is one of those figures um i, I really I, I can't ever recall having seen the original filmation episode that had huntara in it um so i, I mean whenever she won the fan vote i mean that's cool whatever but it, if had i been someone who voted i would have voted for huntara um, but having said that, um, getting her in hand and out of packaging, she's a really great action figure. She's really, really nice. And I think she's a great addition to the line. Um, looks really, really cool. Um, and just a very well executed action figure. Um, before we take a closer look at her, um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories that she came packaged with. 
Um, let's move her out of the way here. Um, the first accessory we'll take a look at is this. This is uh, actually not an accessory that belongs to Huntara. Um, this is actually um, an axe that was intended to be packaged with the Ular action figure. Um, Ular, of course, is the club exclusive that you could only get by subscribing to Club Eternia. Um, and I, I don't know if it was a, an issue with um, how Ular was packed out, if there wasn't room or something like that. Um, I don't think so. I think this was maybe just done in error. <laughs> You know, because both of these figures were coming in March. But it was packaged with Huntara. So this is actually an axe that goes with the Ular action figure. Um, but just taking a look at it, it's, it's, it's a very basic looking axe. But it's a really nice accessory. Um, I mean, just looking at the, the sculpt here. You know, the horsemen always knock the sculpt of these weapons out really, really nicely. Especially whenever they can be... Um, you know, have some paint apps applied to them, like this one. Uh, the head of the axe is painted in a nice metallic silver color, um, but it's got a really nice kind of wash here and there to make it look really dirty and used um, on both sides of the axe there, as you can see. Just taking a look at the sculpting detail, you can see, you know, there's like some chips in the edges here and there of the axe, and, and a lot of, you know, scratches and scrapes um, that, that really show you that, hey, this is, this is something that gets a lot of use. Um, even uh, another nice touch, taking a look at the top of the axe, like it's not just one solid color, you actually see the handle sticking through the axe like you would on a real axe right there. And that's really, really cool. Um, the minimal sculpting detail on it there, but it's it's still very, 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 very nice. And then the uh, the handle's nicely sculpted, nicely done as well. You can see the, the sculpting detail there um, in the axe. You know, that wood grain sculpting detail. Um... Painted a nice brown color with a black wash over the top to bring out the details of that sculpt. It just looks really great, really nice. Uh, a really nice accessory. Um, like I said, this does go with the Ular action figure, but it does come packaged with Huntara. Uh, but, but very, very nice. A very, very cool accessory. Um, taking a look at the other accessories that comes packaged with Huntara. Let me get these out of her hands there. Uh, she has these laser sword type um weapons um of course the 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 blades are like a green translucent plastic as you can see uh, they're identical um <clears throat> they come out of the pack mine came out of the package just a bit warped as you can see there um but they should you know if you're playing with them a little bit um you know maybe heating them up and cooling them off rapidly that that'll that'll straighten out those warped edges but um, so that's something to watch out for. But the, the the blade is sculpted in this really really nice green translucent plastic, as you can see there. You know, obviously translucent. And then the the hilt is uh painted in a nice metallic gold color, uh, with some sculpting detail here and there along the uh, the handle. Um, and then of course you've got your sculpted. Uh, pommel up there at the top of the blade, but really really nice. Uh, like I said, I've never seen the Filmation cartoon So I can't really say that this is uh, an accurate representation or, or you know what have you of these swords But it's it's done nicely. They're nicely done. They're they're a good accessory a um, little bit kind of softer plastic as you can see there, but not not overly soft um, <clears throat> And of course Huntara does come with some weapon storage for these um, on her back there you can see she's got these uh, these two little clips, and they clip in the place very nice. Um, they kind of the one, one's raised a little bit more than the other, so uh, it, it does you know whenever you store them it does create that cool little kind of X pattern across her back there for her weapon storage. But um, really nice, really nice little accessories for what they are. They're they're very simple, but but as I've said, I, I can't really speak to their you know cartoon accurateness. I guess you could say, um, because I'm not really familiar with that episode of the Filmation cartoon. But uh, taking a closer look at Huntara, um, <clears throat> just a, a really, really, really nice head sculpt there. Um, really beautiful. Um, the Four Horsemen, just they have a knack for the female head sculpts in this line, I find. And uh, just a beautiful head sculpt. Uh, almost, almost a uh, kind of a Nubian look to her 
Um, you know, she kind of looks like maybe she could be from, from you know, uh, of course, despite her skin tone being kind of that pinkish purple color. Um, her, she very much has the features of, of, of you know, like someone who would uh, be African-American or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful face sculpt. Uh, very, very nice. Um, as you can see, the eyes on, on her are, are painted quite well. She's got these nice, dark colored uh, eyebrows that go over her eyes there. Look really nice. Nice, bright red lips. Um, she has this white mohawk that's uh, sculpted very, very nicely. Just taking a look at the top. You can see the individual strands of hair sculpted there that the horsemen do. Done very, very nicely. But whenever you look at the ponytail in the back, it's, it's almost as if the hair is, is kind of spiraling as it goes down the pony it looks just so cool um man i just i love that uh and again a nice job with the sculpting details there on the the, the individual strands of hair sculpted just looks really really nice really cool i love that that's such a unique looking head sculpt and and uh hair sculpt for this figure um you can see kind of there from a side profile she does have this uh I don't know if they're tattoos or what you call them, but this this nice um painted detail on the side of her head of of this uh design here on uh, this side as well as that side. So it looks really really nice, really cool. A uh, nice profile view of the figure there. Um, once again, just assuming from the the picture on the back of the packaging, this is you know from the filmation cartoon, but uh, just nicely done, nicely sculpted. A uh, really nice head sculpt here. I'm um, taking a look at the torso. This is, of course, a new female torso, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, she's got, you know, kind of a black uh, brazier type covering there with this kind of dark bluish teal color that kind of crisscrosses there with a, a nice gold, uh, metallic gold painted, um, you know, detail there in the middle of her armor. Uh, looks really, really nice. Um, shoulder pads, it is one piece sculpted into the body. Um, but, you know, you can see some nice sculpting detail there along the edges and then the studs <coughs> right there. Uh, it's the same on both shoulders, as you can see there. Uh, just really, really nice. Uh, and then looking at the back, of course, you can see, you know, she has her weapon storage right there. But, you know, the straps on the back of her, her uh, armor piece there, uh, you can see some nice sculpting detail. You know, as it comes across her back in both directions, at the top and at the bottom there. Just really, really, really nice. Looks really, really cool. Really good. Uh, I really like the look of it. Um, her arms, on both of her arms, she has these um, kind of gold armbands sculpted there just below the articulation. Uh, looks really, really nice. You can see a little bit of sculpting detail in there, you know. Uh, the way it, it kind of looks like, you know, two bands that are there at the same time. And then she's got these really, really nice metallic gold painted bracers as well with some really, really nice sculpting detail. A uh, kind of, little bit more plain there on the bottom of the bracer, but some, some really nice sculpting detail across the top. Uh, but it's simple. It's, it's, a, it's a nice detail, but it is very simple, you know, just with some, some sculpted edges and then that, that piece going across there, across the middle. Um, Coming down here to her waist uh, there, she's got some uh, a nice little loincloth type piece there. Um, some more of that sculpting detail similar to her uh, shoulder pads um, here along the edges of her, uh, her um, you know, uh, bikini briefs here, I guess you would call them. You know, those studs sculpted in there. And then uh, it comes around to the back, you know, again there. And, and a really nice, it almost looks like that the, the edges are, are painted sort of in a metallic blue. To match this that really brings them out in the sculpt it looks really 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 nice um the colors are much more vibrant and bright than uh, what my camera's showing uh they're, they they appear much darker on camera than they are with the figure in hand uh, but it's really really nice you know she's got the belt piece there this gold comes around to the front to this nice painted blue painted gem there this this gem is is a little bit lighter than the rest of the armor but uh, it's it's still very 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 nice and then uh you know coming down to the legs you know she's got the standard female legs painted in that pinkish purplish skin tone um that matches her skin tone and then the boots are really really nice as well they're almost kind of like a a sandal type boot um with some nice sculpting details here along the edges and then when you get down here you can see there's pieces of her uh her, her uh, feet actually showing uh through the boot there and it looks really, really nice. It's a really nice effect. Um, you know, kind of a combination boot sandal type uh, thing there. And you can see some sculpted detail there for the sole of the boots. And then again along right there with that line work, that really, really nice line work. Um, and it works its way all the way around to the back. 
and all the way around the boot as you can see there. But really, really nice, really well done action figure. Um, just taking a look at her articulation, the head does go all the way around there on that ball joint. Uh, looks up about that far and then down about that far. <clears throat> um, it is that standard female buck so it does twist 360 degrees there at the waist. Uh, her arms go about that far up. Uh, this this armor piece really doesn't hinder the articulation at all. I mean, you can get that arm really high up there and it doesn't get in the way there. A uh, little bit of a hindrance going backwards and forwards like this. I mean, you can work it around to get it all the way 360 degrees, but you know, if you just have it flat at her side, it, it will kind of stop right there as far as uh, as uh, going around there at the shoulder. Um, does have a swivel there at the bicep, goes all the way around. Single point elbow and a twist at the wrist. We'll go all the way around there. Um, it's that standard Masters of the Universe Classics, uh, you know, legs there for the female action figures. So they go out about that far. A little bit hindered by the, the, the skirt piece there, but not too much. I mean, it, you can barely even call that hindering the articulation. I mean, you still see she'll be able to sit on a steed or something like that if she wants to. Um, legs go about this far forward. And that far back, once again, a little bit hindered by the skirt piece, but not too, too much. Um, she does have rotation there at the upper thigh. Single point knee there. No boot articulation. And then, of course, she does have the hinge there at the ankle. And a, a very, very slight ankle pivot, as you can see right there. Um, but anyway, this is Huntara. She's a really, really nice action figure. I'll go ahead and put these swords back on her back here. Just very easy to plug in right there. And it makes just that really cool looking, you know, like a X pattern on her back there. Um, the head is removable on that ball joint. I'm not going to pull it off just because uh, it's just, we've all seen it. There's not an alternate head that we have to worry about here with her display. But um, Huntar is a really, really nice action figure, guys. Uh, it's, it's, it is unfortunate that there was no day of sale with this action figure. But that's the risk you run by not subbing. You know, Mattel's pretty upfront with the fact that there are going to be some of these figures that are not going to have any day of sale. The only way to guarantee these action figures is to sub. Um, and whether you like that or not, that's just the way it is. And, you know, if you miss out, you, I mean, you just have to accept that fact that you're going to maybe have to pay a higher price on the secondary market to get this figure. Um, but having said that, um, Huntar is a really nice figure. Uh, like I said, one that I didn't have a really strong feeling one way or the other about. was just kind of meh whenever she was announced. But uh, after having her in hand, she is absolutely, in my opinion, probably one of the best female action figures we've gotten in this line so far. Um, articulation's really nice and tight. None of the joints are loose. Um, and the design work and the execution are really, really great. She's a great, great, great action figure. Um, anyway, this has been my review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Huntara action figure. As always, comment, share, rate, and subscribe. This has been Jackhammer2711, and I will catch all of you guys on the flip side.